Yeah, and this is the path, the start of it, where Angel Naranjo, the 16-year-old, died after he ran into a cable across the path. Now, we spoke to Angel's father today. He believes that that cable was tied across the path intentionally, although Metro has called this an accident. Now, his family wants answers and also solutions to safety concerns on this path in order to prevent this from happening to another family. On July 30th, 16-year-old Angel Naranjo was riding a mini bike with his brother and friends on the Las Vegas Wash Trail when Metro Police say a cable tied to a pole across the pathway hit Angel on the neck and he fell off his bike, dying from his injuries. And they had just gone through here up to Craig Ranch Park where they normally meet and nothing was here and on their way back is when, when the tragedy According to Metro, the cable was slack and resting on the ground. It was not strung taut across the pathway. But Angel's dad, Rudy, says the other bikers had already untied it from the pole by the time police arrived. From here to the, to the post, it was, it was tied. If it were on the ground, all the kids would have gone just right over it. Nothing would have happened. Angel's family has now hired a private investigator to look into the case. Rudy says the wire that killed Angel was still there six days later. This particular wire was still here until we hired our firm and they found out then that very day they came and cut it and took it in for forensic analysis. After that, Rudy says he's found other loose cables detached from the fencing along the trail. It does the fact that that wire up there is still hanging there and that I'm able to do it with no tools right now. I can go up there and tie it around around the next post from where my son died, that's very discomforting. Now Rudy is urging city and county officials to clean up and resolve the safety concerns on the bike trail, including other loose cables and a lack of nighttime lighting on the path. The accident could have been prevented if the light was working. My son, he's not coming back, but we want to prevent another child in our community from dying. And it's not fair that tonight another child could die because of that negligence. Fox 5 reached out to Metro Police for any updates on this case and to ask if they're aware of the other loose cables on the path. They say this investigation is still ongoing. Angel's dad says he won't accept that answer as he's left mourning a young son who had a passion for biking and the outdoors. Hug your kids. Hug your kids because you never know when it could be that last time. Just hug your kids. Love them. And Rudy says that his other son, who was riding behind Angel when this happened, also was injured in the incident. He had to have an eight-hour surgery. He says he's doing better now, but of course traumatized having to watch what happened to his brother Angel. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Wash Trail, Shauna Kalafi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.